So let's try this Heisenberg uncertainty um, example. It says an electron is moving at a speed of 8.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. If the uncertainty in measuring the speed is 1.0% of the speed, calculate the uncertainty in the electron's position. And then the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilojoules. Okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do is, well, calculate the uncertainty in the electron's speed. Okay? So it gives you these two. Um, numbers here, and from that you need to figure out what delta u is, okay? So, we're going to say delta u is going to be this measurement uncertainty times u. So. Like that. Is that okay? So, the measurement uncertainty is a percentage, though, and we need to put it in a ratio. Okay? So, it's actually the ratio of that measurement uncertainty. So, 1% is going to be 0 0.010, because it's 1.0%. That's the ratio. And we'll multiply that by 8.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Okay, so one, two, move over. So this is going to be, well the uncertainty in this is 8.0 times 10 to the fourth meters per second, like that. Okay. So um, the next thing you want to do is figure out, well, what's the uncertainty in the momentum? Okay, because there's um, a couple more equations that you're going to dump this information into. So the next equation you need to remember is that uncertainty of the momentum equation. So delta P equals the mass of the thing that you're measuring times that uncertainty in the velocity, which you just figured out here. Okay? So you've got the mass over here. And rem remember, momentum is going to be in kilograms, meters per second. So those are good units, and so those are the units that you're going to get. So, um, so the mass, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. Okay, so you have to have that in kilograms. 8.0 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. Okay. So let's figure out what that number is. So. Okay, so I get 7.3 times 10 to the negative 26 kilogram meter per second. Okay? So it wanted the uncertainty in the position of this electron though, not in its momentum. Okay? So how do we do the uncertainty in position? Well, that's another equation that we have to memorize. Okay? So, do you remember this equation? No, I'm not even going <laughs> to mention it when you don't remember it. Okay, so on the top up here is H, is Planck's constant. Remember Planck's constant? Yeah. Okay. Um, 4 pi on the bottom times okay. delta momentum. Okay, you remember it yeah. now? Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so, well, Planck's constant, remember that has to be given to you. Okay, so that's going to be. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds. Okay? The other thing you want to remember is the conversion factor. 1 joule equals uh, 1 kilogram meter squared per second squared. 
like that. Okay? But I like to rearrange this to say, take these second squares and put them up here. So we've got one joule second squared equals one kilogram meter squared. Okay? So it's just, it'll be easier on this. Yeah. So let's just do this now. So we've got um, Planck's constant, so 6.626 uh, times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds. And we're going to convert that because remember this momentum's in kilograms, meters per second. So we're going to convert those joules to those other units, okay? Um, so, what did we say? One joule second squared equals one kilogram meter squared, like that. We're going to divide that all by, well, four pi, and then that change in momentum, or the uncertainty in momentum. And that's going to be 7.3 times 10 to the negative 26 kilogram meters per one second. Like that. Okay? So let's just confirm. Remember, this is going to be uncertainty in position, right? So that's going to be where we'll want meters, okay, or a length unit. Okay, so let's just make sure we've got that. So we cancel joules, joules, kilograms, kilograms, uh, meters, and one of the two meters, okay? Seconds, and one of the two seconds, and then seconds, and the other second. Okay, what are we left with? Just meters, okay? And those are good length units, okay? So, now it's just a matter of doing the plug and chug. So. Multiply that times 4 times pi. Planck's constant. Six. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm actually going to put this into picometers. Okay, so it'll look like a normal number. So. This is going to be the two sig figs, okay? So 7.2 times 10 to the negative 10 meters, 